Okay, Taurus, this is your reading for May of 2022. I want to say welcome. I know I haven't been here in a long time. I've been having fun over on TikTok. So if you guys haven't checked me out over there, we're blowing up over there. So you want to come over and check that out. But I am excited to be back with you here, my YouTube family. If you're new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I know it's been a while. Um, if you would do me a favor and just hit like the like button so that I can start pushing these videos out now that I've been gone for a few months, I would truly, truly appreciate it. All right, so in this reading, I'm going to give you the reading from Spirit. I read the cards intuitively, and I also am going to bring through the energy healing. I have missed that a lot, so I'm excited to do that with you here today, and I'll explain exactly what that is when we get to it. All right, let's see what the message is here for you. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going through something here. Okay, so we've got, in the beginning of the month, we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Now, this might be a specific message for somebody, but um, I do feel as though somebody had to leave for everything to come together for you. Uh, we've got the five of pentacles. This is kind of feeling left out in the cold, feeling like somebody isn't there. So there might be some abandonment happening here. Somebody might have left, but I feel as though you're balancing it. So some of you, this might be um, a divorce. It could be a breakup. It could be also a job loss. It could also be um, a, a passing of somebody as well. So you're balancing it well, I, I feel here with the two of pentacles. So I do feel because somebody has left or something has ended, um, I really feel like it's a person though. So you have been, things have been added to your plate and you have been balancing these things. You're trying to do that. And the 10 of pentacles with the four of cups. Um, I feel like you're going to be able to relax a little bit, uh, moving forward. I feel like they're just showing me like this big hump. So I feel like you just have to get over that hump. So maybe it's like dealing with everything that, you know, finances and, um, childcare and all these different things that might be affected because of somebody leaving but with this four of cups i do feel like you will be getting a break soon and i do feel like please trust in this that with whoever whoever left or maybe you are the one that left um whoever left like it was it's going to bring so much more to your life and in the middle of the month here we've got the page of swords the death card the eight of swords and the ace of wands so this is going to feel, I'm not feeling up and down. I'm feeling back and forth, back and forth. So we've got the page of swords. So this is my boundaries card. This is about telling, or it's about setting and enforcing your boundaries with this death card and with the eight of swords. I feel as though this could be hard for you. Now, you know, I, I work with women to heal their childhood trauma. And one of the things that happened is that we were never learned, we were never taught how to set our boundaries, how to enforce our boundaries without feeling guilty or, or bad, because people would manipulate you, people would make you feel bad if you tried to set a boundary. Maybe they gave you the silent treatment. This is a little bit of narcissism here. But this death card, I feel as though you are going to be the one transforming. And I feel as though that is why this had to happen. This, this departure, this, this leaving had to happen so that that could push you into the place where you're actually going to make change in your life. You're actually going to start to undo this blindfold and see things for the first time in the way that you've never seen them before. Because right after these three cards, you have the Ace of Wands. So this is a brand new beginning for you. So allowing yourself here to open up, to heal your past to step into, again, this brand new beginning here of the Ten of Pentacles. It's it's an ending card, but this is you having everything. But whoops, this is the beginning of it. Okay, so allowing yourself to grow, allowing yourself to evolve in this lifetime, in, in your life. Um, you don't have to be who you've always been. You can stand up for yourself. And we, at the end of the month here, we've got the Four of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is the lack of trust, but you know, a lot of people will come to me and they'll say, I can't trust again in relationships. And the one thing that I teach, I did a whole course on this actually, 
was that it's you that you don't trust. Because when you trust yourself to make hard decisions and have hard conversations, right, as uncomfortable as it may be for you, then you are protected because you are trusting yourself. You are trusting yourself that you will never put yourself in that situation again. You're trusting yourself that, you know, you can open up to the right people and you can open up because you have these boundaries. So letting these things turn, so allowing yourself to let go of that lack of trust, but also changing the perception that you think it's about trusting other people when it's really about trusting yourself. And trusting yourself comes from, you know, a whole line of stuff in your childhood where you weren't able to trust anybody or weren't, um, you know, were you were neglected, uh, you didn't feel safe and all of that stuff. So the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like things are turning for you. Again, you're balancing a lot, but things are turning. You're getting what you deserve. And the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like, again, you're going to have it all with this Ten of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles. And just hold on one second because I'm getting something coming through. All right, there's just a couple of messages coming through, so I'm just going to bring them to you. So do not doubt that you made a wrong decision. All right, you made the right decision. Everything is going to pan out, even if you don't see it right this second. And stop focusing on the other person, okay? This is your time. This death card here, this is your time to start to focus on you. And that's kind of what has created the life you've already lived so far is because you always have been, right? So I work with people pleasers, over givers, and it's like you've always been focused on the other person, but you've never really focused on yourself because you never really were taught to focus on yourself. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. So we're going to go ahead and do energy work around this and just seeing where we want to go. Okay, so the, we're going to the death card here. So this is about transformation. So we're going to allow this transformation to happen and it's, we're going to uh, allow it to happen a little bit easier for you because sometimes, you know, the transformation of a death card can be very hard. So we're going to allow that to happen a little bit easier. So the way that I work with energy is, you know, we're all made of energy. Our energy um, holds our thoughts, feelings, emotions. I have my book, It's Not You, It's Your Energy on Amazon. It teaches you all about your energy because nobody really teaches us about the very thing that we're made of. So in this, we are going to connect the divine energy with your energy in, in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions. So we're going to do this around this death card. So if this is resonating with you, if you're still here, if this is resonating with you, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let spirit know that you are ready to release this. Commit to yourself. And then we're going to um, also pull a couple cards throughout the energy healing too. All you're going to do is just close your eyes and listen to some music for a few minutes. And if you get emotional, let that out. If you don't, that's okay. Um, but just don't hold anything in as you go through this. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes. Or you can watch my hands. I know some of you like to watch my hands as they dance around. Um, go ahead and take a deep breath in and stay tuned for the cards that will pull out. And let it out. And go ahead and take another deep breath in. And release it. Just relaxing here. And go ahead and take one more deep breath in. Give your shoulders a nice stretch. And then go ahead and let that out. Okay, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
can go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And go ahead and take another deep breath in, just relaxing here. And then go ahead and let that out. And if you have your eyes closed, you can go ahead and open them. Okay, so the cards that popped up, if you guys enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Let me know. We have the lover's card. We have the hermit and we have the king of cups. So this lover's card, you know, this could be, I'm feeling it in between. So for some of you, this is going to be that you have a connection with somebody else. But for many of you, this is a, okay, that's what it is. It is more about this connection with yourself. We already talked about that, right? This is your time to connect back to yourself instead of distracting yourself. This is a message that came through with this hermit card is that instead of distracting yourself with outside sources, it's time to turn that inward. It's time to go after yourself, go in and figure out and kind of let go and release the things here that no longer serve you and that are keeping you stuck in this rut, um, feeling like this is kind of like a pattern thing here. So it might not be the first time that this has happened, but you've got this King of Cups and I feel like this is a progression. It's about tuning into yourself, giving yourself self space and time to isolate you know one of the modes I, I have four stages of healing and basically the first is awareness knowing that you have to do that so hopefully you're learning that here but the hermit mode is the second stage this is where you isolate this is where you go through programs with the people in my programs go through isolation because you have to get yourself out of the chaos in order to see what's actually happening and to see how you're feeling um, and then we move into this King of Cups. Now we also have the Butterfly Stage and the Phoenix Stage. Now this to me would be the Butterfly Stage where it's the King of Cups. It's kind of like living your life and finding out who you really are. So allowing yourself to kind of get into that energy of being this King of Cups. But you can't get here until you take this isolation and really focus on yourself. A lot of us try to get here first before focusing on ourselves and it doesn't work. And that's why people get stuck and they don't understand what's happening. Um, but you got the four of swords too, is the last card. So this is telling me that just relax a little bit. It's all coming. It's all working out for you. So just, you know, as much as it seems as though might, it might not and how transformation and healing isn't the prettiest thing, it's going to completely, you know, work out for you. So kind of just relax and allow yourself to flow, allow your healing to evolve, allowing your, you know, your energy to release and your thoughts and your beliefs to change. Like, don't try to hold on to them so tight this month is what I'm getting for you. Okay, so really allowing yourself to check in with yourself and not just check in, but completely start to be honest with yourself as to where you are and what you've been doing to sabotage yourself and keep you distracted from doing the work that you really know you need to do. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Um, I do have a challenge to heal your childhood trauma coming up this month, so you can find the description box in the uh, description in the box below. Um, the link is there too. All right. So I hope I'm wishing you so much love, uh, wishing you so much luck with your healing journey here and really kind of juggling whatever you're juggling, but really excited for this death card. You know, a lot of tarot readers, we get excited when the death card comes up because we know that change is about to happen and transformation is about to happen. And when transformation happens, that is when your whole life changes. So if you're interested in joining me for the challenge, it is in the description box below. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little bell notification to get notified when I have my new videos coming out, okay? I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful month. Bye.